What is going on YouTube? I am back with another video. You can tell I'm back in the States by three things. One, it just rained. Two, green grass. Three, there is a blue sky with white clouds in the sun and it's not dusty. You can also hear the beast in the background. These have been in motion for a while. If you watched my previous video, you've probably already seen a tad bit of them. But again, I've been waiting to reveal them on the channel. Shout out to Wheel and Tire Exchange. Greg takes care of every car, even my girl's car. I'm gonna talk about that later on in another video. But I'm gonna be reveal revealing, can I talk, the new wheels on one of the Vs. Let's go. First of all, let's just enjoy the view and the sound of the V8. But I, again, I've been waiting to reveal these to you guys for a minute. If you watched my uh, taking delivery video, you saw a touch of them, but I didn't go into detail. Um, but if you're new to the channel, everything 1320 happens right here. Yes, when I am back permanently come December, I will be racing. Yes, I know that's winter time. I'm right in the middle of race season, but I'm gonna go back out to the Middle East for a little bit and then again, come home permanently. So I'm super excited about that. But you guys came here for one thing and that's the wheels. So let me go ahead and tell you, this is a carbon fiber packaged CTSV. I wrapped in satin black and did a chrome delete with an extreme online store exhaust. This is the daily V. This is, this is the clean V. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the wheels now. You got a short little montage. What I have is the Stance SF10. So I have 20 by 11 in the rear and 20 by 10 and a half in the front, wrapped with the Hankook V12 Street Radial Tire 305 2520 in the rear. And then I believe a 275 30 20 in the front. And one of my favorite parts about this is I have the Cadillac blue, almost a chrome blue. It does have flake. The car is dirty because it's been raining, you guys. But the Cadillac blue, you can see, it's a color match there. And if you don't know, we have a his and hers things going on. She has pink, I have blue. If you think about a baby, pink or blue when it's boy or girl for a gender reveal. So that's kind of what I went for. I think that's kind of dope. If you don't know who that is, man, follow her channel, Miss Carrie G, Instagram, YouTube, all that good stuff. But the actual wheel, again, is a Stance SF10 in the gunmetal gray to bring out the carbon fiber that's all over the car. Uh, I think it's super, super clean. It's aggressive. A lot of people go blackout wheels when they black out the entire car, but I wanted something that popped just a little bit and I got that Maya business in the front, but it pops. It gives it a little bit of an extra touch um, that's not black, so the wheels aren't necessarily hidden. But let me know what you guys think. Not too bad of a price range for the wheels as well. Um, I've done Ferratas on almost every vehicle I've had, every Challenger, Charger, whatever. I'm a huge Ferrata fan, but I learned really, really quickly, Ferratas are soft. I actually banged up against a curb, not paying attention. Um, and, it, and it cost me just a whole new rim um, instead of fixing it. And if you know, Ferratas can be anywhere from 700 to 1,000 a wheel. And these, I believe, came in at right at 2,000. Yeah, right at 2,000. If you do any custom color besides gunmetal or I think it's gunmetal or the brushed bronze, you pay a little bit more. I was going to do bronze, but I've already done bronze on a black car um, in the Challenger. So something different. Let me know what you guys think. I'm super excited to reveal the car to you. Again, if you haven't seen it, here it is. Carbon fiber lip, blacked out everything. Sounds good. May even show you what it sounds like. I got a little ugly in the car. Like I said, you can't see anything. What a surprise. You driving? 